So today I was feeling kind of limited by my book options and I went to the library to get something new to read. And then I thought, damn, I feel like I don't have that many books that I haven't read yet on my bookshelf. So I'm going to go through the books that I have that I haven't read yet because I think the number is much smaller than I expect. I just counted and I have 97 books, like that's not including my middle school part of the library, like Percy Jackson, Heroes of Olympus. Basically from this all the way up there. But yeah, let's do this one shelf at a time so I don't destroy the entire bookshelf for this video. All right, so this is, this is, this is stack number one. First, I have Thomas More Utopia. I think I read like the first, I read up to page 17. And I mean, I can't remember anything about it. So I think I was just kind of bored by it. But I think that when I started to try to read this, um, like I didn't have the brain that I have now. And I think my brain that I have right now will enjoy this. So next I have Paradise by John Milton, and I just haven't read this because I haven't gotten around to it. Uh, I definitely will, but it's not a priority at all. <laughs> the next is Moby Dick. So I got this from my uncle in seventh grade, and I think I read, like, I don't have a bookmark in here. Wow, these pages are so nice. I just like remember the beginning of this book, but I didn't want to sit through it. But granted, I was 12 years old. So I'm definitely looking forward to reading this pretty soon, I would say. The Castle I have right here, I stopped on page 81. I liked this, but it was just kind of tedious to get through at the time. And I remember I was also reading a different book at the same time as this, and that other book required more of my energy. And I just kind of left this on the back burner and then eventually so much time had passed that I couldn't really remember enough from the beginning to keep going without wanting to start all over. Okay, and then next I have my beautiful, crisp, unopened, brand new copy of Demon. Yeah, this is another one where the right time will find me to start this. My heart and soul haven't told me to start reading this yet. That's the only reason why I haven't started. And then last from the shelf on Earth, We're Briefly Gorgeous. I just got this for Christmas, so I'm definitely going to read it soon. Like, I just want to be mentally prepared to feel feelings when I read this. Like, sometimes I'm just so reluctant to start reading something that is going to, like, make me feel vulnerable and, like, sad or reflective. Um... So shelf number two was a little bit deceptive. I thought there wasn't that much on it that I hadn't read and then it turns out there's a shit ton I haven't read on it. I dropped it all too so I'm just kind of gonna go in a random order. So I have Dante's Inferno. Purgatorio. Oh I've been looking for this. <laughs> and Paradiso. Haven't read these yet. I started Inferno and in theory could read this in one sitting in one day. Something about pages like this, something about stanzas or whatever the fuck this is, like I can't do it no matter how hard I try but I'm gonna have to grow up because I know that I will enjoy. Next I have Charles Dickens Great Expectations. This will be getting read soon. I feel like I'm saying that about every book. But as you can see, like a lot of them are so like dense in nature that I can't be reading them back to back to back. So it's all about balance. That's why I haven't read um, Great Expectations yet. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna have to say about a lot of these, like life and fate. I gotta be fresh off of some lighthearted, fast paced, fun book before I get into this because I will be here for a while. Next is a book that I started and didn't finish. I made it like halfway through Catch-22 and I really like this and I thought it was great and I thought it was funny and I was enjoying reading it. My only problem with it was that like it was so easy to put down and not pick up again because I'm not attached to any specific character. Like I'm not really um, gripped by the plot line. It didn't really hold my attention. But I can see myself going back to this, but not this year. Next, I have Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. I don't know what this book is about at all. And I pretty much just bought this because it was a dollar at Goodwill. And 
for a dollar, like, why wouldn't I get it? All right, and then next, Gabriel Garcia Marquez, three books right here. I actually started Love in the Time of Cholera, and I think I read, yeah, <laughs> I read to page 20. This wasn't bad, it wasn't slow or anything. I think at the time I was just reading something else that demanded my attention and that's why I put it down. So I just feel like when that happens, I need enough time to go by that I don't remember what I've read at all so I can start over. So it basically feels like I'm reading it for the first time. And then here I have Crónica de una muerte anunciada. Don't know what this is about either, but I have it um, up here so I can practice my Spanish. And actually my dad, he's American, but he speaks Spanish fluently and he used this to practice, you know, reading Spanish and all of his notes and translations are in here. And then lastly, 100 Years of Solitude. I got this for Christmas as well and I just will get to it when I get to it. Um, and then next I have Siddhartha, Nobel Prize winner. Yeah. Okay, next is The Scarlet Letter. I started this in like middle school and I got to page 45. I don't remember what I thought about it. I still remember quite a bit from the beginning half, or pff, can't even say half, like the beginning quarter. And it's just something that I need to start over and reread. But that's the thing. It's like once I've started it and then it's like a matter of rereading, then I don't really feel like doing that just yet when there are things that I haven't even opened before that I could be reading. Like, I'm so fucking annoying, like, <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I think in trying to explain my reading choices, I'm only confusing myself more, because I've never tried to articulate it before. So then I have Going to Meet the Man, and by James Baldwin. I realize I never say the author after I say the title. It's unintentional, sorry. Um, I just got this at my Barnes & Noble clothing sale, and I'm excited. I mean, I think I read the back, and then it said, there's no way not to suffer. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> then I have Ada by Nabokov, and I know this is a masterpiece, but I'm pretty sure there's like incest in this. And that's fine. I mean, it's disturbing, but it's fine. I'll read it, but I think it kind of puts me off from starting it each time. And then last, I have Red Sparrow. Normally, I'm not into a mass market paperback, but I feel like this book, so long and so thick, like, it's just so perfect. I, I never really read thrillers, so that's why this isn't, like, my priority, but I think I will like it. Oh, shit. Here's the last stack. Oh. So, we've gotten to the last stack. First, The Grapes of Wrath. I read, like, 5% of this for a class in high school when it was assigned and I think the only thing I didn't like about it was that it was assigned reading and I never wanted to read it and I just thought that I could pass all of my quizzes without having read it which was not true. I've been meaning you know to get back into this or at least to read East of Eden or some Steinbeck so yeah. And then the next three books that I'm going to show are all books that I got when I worked at Barnes & Noble for five weeks for free and I started Death Valley and I made it to page I made it to page like 11 because you can see my lipstick. Yeah, it was like no line that I read made me want to move on to the next line. And I don't know if I'm being harsh, but when there's a book with a narrator that I just don't relate to at all in any way, which is usually hard because you know like we're all humans, there's normally something that you can empathize with or relate to but honestly this character was just one of those that i find insufferable i figured okay like i'm not gonna put myself through something that i'm hating so much from the very beginning maybe it would get better if i kept reading because i know she's gonna like walk through a gash and a cactus and enter some mystical realm but yeah and then the next two books now i'm kind of reluctant to read because i, I mean they might not be similar to that book at all but in my head it's like since I got them all off the same shelf in the break room, they're all gonna be mid. So if anybody has read either of these books, What Wild Women Do and Evil Eye, 
let me know if you think I'm gonna like them or hate them because right now like they are the last books that I'm going to read off this bookshelf like they are not a priority at all and it's all this book's fault okay next Wuthering Heights again this was assigned reading in high school so I didn't read it then I have Slaughterhouse Five and I've never read any Kurt Vonnegut so it's just a matter of when and then the spirit catches you and you fall down. This was assigned to me in college and I actually tried to keep up with the reading as much as I could and because my teacher was so cool and I really liked this and I really was enjoying it when I was reading it. Um, but then again, it's like I finished the assignment without having finished the book and then there was no reason for me to go back to it <laughs> at that time. But I do want to... Um, to actually finish it because I thought it was good. Next is a book that I asked my friend to buy for me for my birthday. It was like we each bought each other a book for our birthdays and she said like pick whatever you want in this Barnes & Noble. Pick whatever you want. Like if you want War and Peace, you got War and Peace. And this is what I chose. <laughs> I chose this because I think I had just seen Oppenheimer and I'm not gonna lie like I do want to read this but it's like do I want to read this? <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, um, yeah, it's like, when will I get to this? I don't know. If I didn't own this, there would be a 0% chance that I would read it. But I think having it in my possession makes me more likely to read this because I am interested in the story. God damn, it's like the margin. This shit goes like all the way to the top of the page. Okay, I'm almost done. So then I have The Book Thief and this is just one of those books that I know I have to read for the culture. And then The Aeneid. I got a decent amount read and I really liked this. I think it was just that, so I kind of made it my mission to read every single book mentioned in The Secret History and this is one of them of course and then I decided my senior year of college to take two classics courses my first semester and this was assigned reading so guess what I didn't do read the Aeneid it's a shame because there are striking passages in here like I love it it's just um the timing wasn't right when I started to read it and now like I said I'm gonna need that reset period. <laughs> now I'm down to the last three books. So these two books were written by my uncle. And um, like, what is that? He's like my political uncle, I think is like the direct translation from Tio Politico in Spanish. But anyways, like he's my aunt's husband. He wrote this book about his father and this book about his brother. And his brother, he was assassinated by Pablo Escobar's cartel. And then his father founded like the, the Industrial University of Santander. So both of these are kind of important for me to read and I really want to get to them because the stories of these two men, like I'm very familiar with them and my uncle is very important to me. And then lastly, I have the new Soviet fiction, 16 short stories compiled by Sergei Zal... Zalujin, <laughs> whatever. It's like a bunch of um, short fiction stories written in the Soviet time period and the cover is really cool. I just am interested to see this compilation of stories because I think they'll all be very telling of the time period that they were written in and it's just right up my alley. So 